What's going on guys? It's Trey Mathis here from WifiEntrepreneur.com. So glad to see you guys landing here on my page today. It's another beautiful day here in Washington, D.C. I'm super excited to talk with you guys today, catch up with what's been going on. I had a wonderful day yesterday. Uh, got a lot of great new bits of inspiration and motivation for the journey ahead. I want to share with you guys a little bit about what happened yesterday. Let's go ahead and get started. This is the Wi-Fi Journal. Hey guys, if this is your first time checking us out, this is on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or Twitter. Make sure you're subscribing to our social media channels. We're here to help you turn your passion into profit so that you can make money online. Like I mentioned in the opener, I'm really excited about today because yesterday was just such an impactful day for me. I started the day off uh, really focusing in on the important task of the day. I talked about it in the video yesterday about really making sure that you get the important things that you know that you need to do and get accomplished for the day for your brand for your business get those things accomplished right away first thing in the day so therefore you have the opportunity to get distracted or more or less not have to worry about the things that you know are important wondering if they're going to slip through the cracks uh, because of whatever the distractions that, that may come along in, in life just in general and yesterday i was really happy because of the fact that I was able to one shoot a video quite early on i was able to get a blog posted online and that allowed me a lot of opportunity to see what el where else i could grow and also it allowed me an opportunity to spend time with family because of the fact that i wasn't feeling like oh i need to do some work that I, i'm leaving behind uh, i was able to spend some quality time with family and that was fantastic my wife and i did a little bit of netflix and chilling uh, it, in the good way we were watching uh, one of the movies on netflix that recently came out by eddie murphy the dolomite movie dolomite's my name i'm not sure if you guys have watched that movie i know it definitely skipped my list of things to watch for quite some time and I must have been watching MSNBC or something to that regard and someone mentioned the movie uh, right after Eddie Murphy made his appearance on SNL Saturday Night Live and they said that it was actually pretty good so that kind of intrigued me to want to take a look at it I have to say if you have not checked it out I must say I was uh, thoroughly impressed Eddie Murphy is a funny guy uh, he does very well in whatever role he plays uh, however, what was really good about the Dolomite movie was it was truly an inspirational story. Uh, I grew up in Third Ward, Houston, Texas. I was probably one of the wards our neighborhoods referred to in the movie as a place where his movie could catch on, the Dolomite movie, the original Dolomite movie could catch on. And I saw the Dolomite movie some years ago. I can't even remember how old I was. I don't know how I got my hands on it. Uh, but I, were just, I just remembered the movie. And I did not know that the movie last night, the Eddie Murphy movie, was actually going to be a, I, I, want, I don't want to say a biography, a, a summation of how he went about achieving that goal of creating that movie. Not Eddie Murphy, but the true Dolomite, Rudy Ray Moore, the individual who put together that movie, uh, put together the real Dolomite character. Um, it was it was really interesting to see. Uh, it was his, talked about his journey, the Netflix documentary, uh, the Netflix movie, Eddie Murphy movie, Dolomite is my name. Talked about his journey, Rudy Ray Moore's journey from being a stock clerk all the way to actually creating and how he went about creating, how he went about funding that movie in which I'm talking about, the Dolomite movie that I watched some years ago. It was truly, truly inspiring. Um, it was definitely a you can do anything type of mantra into the movie. It was definitely inspiring to someone like myself who uh, have faced their uh, set of challenges on their journey to be what they believe uh, they're meant to be, to walk in their passion. Uh, we all reach certain roadblocks along the way. It's good to have some great people around you that inspire you and believe in you and want to see you succeed. And that's what the movie was truly about. 
Uh, I'm excited because of the fact that it just charged me up in so many different ways. In addition to watching the Dolomite movie, if you guys haven't seen it, I, I highly encourage you to check it out. I think it's worth the watch. Uh, it is some vulgar language in there in the movie. However, uh, it's definitely worth the worth worth the time to watch. So another thing that I did yesterday that I thought was uh, beneficial to share, uh, I downloaded a new audio book from Audible.com, and it was another Grant Cardone's book. I know if you guys have been watching any of these uh, videos from the past, you can see that I'm a high, uh, a highly promote and highly recommend you checking out some of Grant Cardone's stuff, mainly because of his journey, the just the impact that he's making in the in the industry of sales and 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 motivation as well. And and I love the Millionaire Booklet. It was a fantastic book. It truly inspired me to understand how affiliate marketing could work and how I could take a bigger a bigger goal and break it down into smaller pieces to uh, to, to more conceptualize the things that I'm looking to accomplish. And that was really exciting. After I had the Millionaire Booklet, after I read the Millionaire Booklet, I then went on to read, to read the 10X. If you guys have never seen the 10X, I'm pretty sure if you've heard of Grant Cardone, you're familiar with his 10X philosophy. That is kind of the book that really took him to the next level, that mentality to 10X everything that you do in life. Don't just shoot one video, shoot 10 videos. Just don't make one phone call, make 10 phone calls. That really propelled his business to the next stratosphere. I mean, he's just really been kicking butt and taking names since that book came out. But one of the things that I noticed was that he was, after he, after he made millions upon millions, I'm sure, uh, with the 10X brand, he began to promote his next book, and that was to be obsessed or be average. And I was first was hesitant to pick up the book, but that was crazy of me because of the fact that he's produced two great books that I've loved so far. I'm pretty sure he has about over five bestseller books now on the market. So I've already read two of them. So getting this third one just seemed like a no brainer, but I had to finish a Brian Tracy book that I was listening to before through the Earl, uh, the Earl Nightingale Foundation. It was a great book from Brian Tracy, talks about goals, etc. But I just finished that book, so now I'm starting with the Be Obsessed and Be Average. I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm obsessed with that book. That book is really good. I mean, good gracious. I mean, from the stories that he talk about, he talks about in the very beginning that brings you to why he's the individual he is, why he thinks the way that he thinks, why he believes that. If he can do it, anyone can do it. And it's just truly, truly inspiring. Uh, I have not been able to put that book down. I've just been just trying to get all the information as fast as possible because it is truly, truly inspiring. It's definitely a, you have to step your own personal game up, look at yourself, look at what it is that you want to do, your goals in life, and understand that only you are capable of getting those goals accomplished. You know. People may rah-rah on the sideline or people may hate-hate on the sideline. Either way, at the end of the day, it's gonna be you who makes the difference. It's gonna be you that makes the impact that allows you to uh, see your dreams come true. So really just, the book's just really slapping you in the face left and right uh, about why you should be obsessed with the things that you're passionate about. So I really love it. I can't wait to get on listening to it today and uh, getting some more of that good information and inspiration. But one of the things that really stuck out to me in the book so far was Grant Cardone's obsession with writing down his goals. You know, uh, Brian Tracy in the book that I just finished, Brian Tracy is a strong advocate of writing your goals down. He says, write them down in the morning, write them down in the night. And he constantly is talking about how that changed his business career uh, overall. Him being a, a salesman back in the day, he wanted to be a top salesman. He got into the habit of writing his goals down every day. Brian Tracy's now gone on to inspire millions of people in the sales industry. Well, what was interesting is I just finished the Brian Tracy book, picked up the Grant Cardone's book, and in Grant Cardone's 
first two chapters, it's all about how he writes down his goals, both in the morning and the night, how he fills up these legal pads, how his family wonders, why do you continue to write down uh, your goals on a daily basis? And I, I mean, I could try to convince you on some of the things that they've said in order to get you on the right side of writing your goals down. But I really believe that the proof is in the pudding. I mean, you can look at Grand Cardon and see uh, that it appears that he's doing very well in both business as well as family. Him and his wife and his, his two daughters, they travel the world. They seem to be having a great time. He seems to have a good group of friends around him, etc. Brian Tracy continues to inspire and touch millions. He believes that everyone that he uh, has the ability to interact with, becomes his friend, so you can imagine he has millions of friends worldwide. And all of them seem to come together on this uh, writing goals down. Jim Rohn, one of my longtime uh, online mentors, exact same way, write them down, write your goals down. And what I did last night, because I like to do the things, you know, action is very important. Once you have been given a direction, you need to make sure that you take the action in order to see those things come to pass. And one of the things I could not do is allow myself to hear Brian Tracy say, write down my goals, and then hear Grant Cardone say, write down my goals, all in the same day, while also knowing that Jim Rome says, write down your goals, and not begin to write down my goals on a daily basis. I usually do a thing that breaks down, like I said before, some of the things to do. It helpfully, helps me reach my goals. I write down what it is that I'm looking to accomplish for the year, and then break that down to what I'm looking to accomplish for the month, and then what I'm looking to accomplish for the week, and what I'm looking to accomplish for the day. Grant Cardone says that's more of a to-do list style goal format. Instead, you need to write down your goals. And Brian Tracy says the same thing that are outside of your your possible your, your thoughts of possibility you know that mega mansion you know you can't really itemize from the day to the week to the month how you're going to accomplish getting that mega mansion however you can put together a framework through that system that helps you stay on track to do the disciplines to get that mega mansion but what they're saying in these things is to write down the mega mansion i own a multi-million dollar mega mansion on the water overlooking bar harbor you know however detailed you want to get into your goals but i couldn't let another opportunity go by where i didn't really take that advice uh to heart and really do it as they uh, articulate it so i have um, a new journal here uh jim rome journal and I already started to write down some of my goals in this journal. I don't want to necessarily share my journals with you, my, my goals with you two per se, uh, but you guys know about many of them already. So uh, those are just some of the things that happened yesterday. Some of the new things that have kicked off uh, from the Dolomite movie and the Grant Cardone's Be Obsessed to Be Average book. I'm going to leave some information below on how you can gain access to uh, some of this information. I won't be able to give you access to Netflix, uh, however, uh, I will be able to give you access uh, to where you can get a great journal like the one I just shared with you uh, so that you can start to write out your goals as well following this format. I'm also going to leave a link below to where you can get an, uh, access to that uh, Be Obsessed and Be Average book that I was just telling you about. I'm really excited about that book as well. Uh, I want you guys to be able to check it out. And if you're not a part of our free online training center where we, a lot, where we house a lot of this great information on how you can make money online, make sure you join our free online training center as well as our free online community. We're here to help you turn your passion into profit and we want to see you make money online. So I'm going to leave it there. Until we talk again, take care and be blessed. Peace.